Today, I'm going to walk you through how to create a visa submission form from start to finish. First thing you're going to do is go to the Area Ministry SharePoint folder to download the visa submission form Excel document. Once you're there, you're going to go to the Accounting Services folder right at the top. Scroll down to Credit Card Submission Form and you'll open that. And you'll want to download it to your computer before you make any edits. Otherwise, your edits will save for everyone else in the ministry to see. So download it first. And once you do that, um, you'll have it here in Excel ready to edit. First thing you'll do is enter in the cardholder name. I'll put in my name here as an example. Month end, August 2018. Now you're ready to enter all of the receipts. So you'll have your visa statement in front of you and you'll go down in order and enter in the receipts in the same order that they're listed on your visa statement. I'll enter a few in here as an example. First thing we have is a purchase made at the Dollar Tree. These are some family retreat items in Souderton, PA. So uh, here you'll enter in your accounting string. Um, it's helpful if the cardholder writes the accounting string onto the receipt uh, as soon as they make the purchase. Um, then you don't have to recall what the purchase was before. Was it for a general budget item? Was it for a family retreat budget item? Uh, so that's a good practice to get into. So our accounting string for family retreat is fifteen sixty seven hundred two oh seven three eighty two FRSLD. Then you'll enter in the amount and you'll repeat this process for all the rest of the receipts um, on the visa statement. Once you're finished, you're going to want to make sure your total matches the total on the visa statement. Uh, if there's a difference, then you might have a little typo you need to go back and fix, um, but that number should match your statement. Once you're finished, you're going to print this form out and have the cardholder sign it. And you'll also submit this to your to the supervisor, most likely the AD, to review and approve and sign. And then they'll both date it. Once that's finished, you will print your visa statement, you'll have your submission form printed, and you'll have all of your receipts and you'll scan it scan all those documents into one PDF and that will look like this. So this is a statement that I did last month for my colleague Alyssa. This is her statement. So you have the first couple pages here. Then the next uh, document will be your submission form followed by all of the receipts and all these receipts should be in the order, the same order as your submission form, which are in the same order as your visa statement. And that's it. That's how you create a visa submission form.